my wife bought me this Lone Ranger Volume 1 for a Christmas present. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, I wanted to uh, take the time to do a review on it for Come Again, uh, as well as give you guys a little bit of history on the character of the Lone Ranger himself. The Lone Ranger was created in January of 1933 on WXYZ Radio Detroit by either Fran Stryker or George W. Trendy. It's still not clear at this point. The story of the Lone Ranger is this. A posse of six Texas Rangers pursue a band of outlaws led by Bart Cavendish into a canyon named Bryant's Gap. The lawmen are betrayed by a civilian guide named Collins and ambushed by the outlaws. Eventually, a Comanche or Potawatomi Indian by the name of Tonto, which translates in Spanish to moron or fool, stumbles upon the massacred rangers and buries them, save for one who is barely alive, and Tonto nurses back to health. The last name of the ranger is usually depicted as being Reed. However, from time to time, his first name is changed. In the Dynamite comics that I'm reviewing today, the ranger's first name is John. Tonto gives Reed the nickname Kimosabi, which he says means, depending on the story, is either Trusty Scout in the original depictions. Uh, Scout Runner, in the 2013 movie, Tonto states that it means wrong brother, meaning that the outlaws killed the wrong brother in the ambush. But in the Dynamite Comics issues, Tonto states that Kimosabi means faithful friend. In the comics, the catchphrase Hayo Silver is depicted as a phrase he got from his older brother, combined with the name of his horse. He says in the comics to his nephew, Your father was my best friend in the whole world. I miss him every day. Not much different than you do. He was a good, as good a man as I'll ever know. I guess you could say he was my hero. You remind me of him. More than a little bit. There's this thing your father used to say when he got excited. Never tried it myself, so it'll probably sound silly. And in the next page... You see the image of him raising Silver up on his hind legs, shouting "Hiyo Silver!" In this movie, in the movie, this is accompanied by Tonto looking at his, at him in shock, stating, "Don't ever do that again." Volume 1 depicts the main villain of the story being a former slave who works for Butch Cavendish to make sure all the Texas Rangers had been killed. The man seems to resemble Morgan Freeman in his appearance and is an expert tracker and hunter, while Reed's father, who is one of the Rangers who was killed, very closely resembles Sam Elliott. Volume 1 ends with the Lone Ranger tracking down the bounty hunter who is preparing to kill Tonto. Just before the hunter can shoot the Indian, the Ranger fires a bullet straight through the bounty hunter's hand, knocking his gun to the ground. Reed chases the bounty hunter onto a train where they have their final showdown on the roof and cause the train to crash, leaving the bounty hunter trapped and ready to die. Reed finally confronts the bounty hunter and gets him to reveal who hired him and who killed his family. The Lone Ranger then leaves him after the bounty hunter gave him his prized pistols that are without equal. The bounty hunter had only one request, that the ranger remove his mask and show him his face, to which Reed replies, the mask is my face, to which the bounty hunter replies with, yes, I believe it is. The ranger then leaves the bounty hunter alive in the wreckage. Tonto appears, to which the hunter recognizes him as a killer and Tonto throws a knife down to the hunter to kill himself with and says, I used to know it myself. Throughout his history, the Lone Ranger has held a set of rules for himself. To have a friend, a man must be one. That all men are created equal and that everyone has within himself the power to make this a better world. That God put the firewood there, but that every man must gather and light it himself. Being prepared physically, mentally, and morally to fight when necessary for what is right. That a man should make the most of what equipment he has. That this government of the people, by the people, and for the people shall live always. That men should live by the rule of what is best for the greatest number. That sooner or later, somewhere, somehow, we must settle with the world and make payment for what we have taken. That all things change but truth, and that truth alone lives on forever. He also believed in his creator, his country, and his fellow man. Apparently, these beliefs were passed down to his nephew's son, Britt Reed, who fights crime in modern times as the Green Hornet with his sidekick, Kato. However, the pair's family link has been ignored in recent years, as the two are now owned by separate companies. 
I really enjoyed Volume 1, and it led me to rewatching the 2013 film, which depicts both the Lone Ranger and Tonto in completely different ways, but both are equally enjoyable. I'll give Volume 1 from Dynamite Comics an 8 out of 10. Created by Matthews, Cariello, White, and Cassidy, this is a must read for any comic book enthusiast, Lone Ranger fan, Green Hornet fan, or fan of westerns in general. The Lone Ranger definitely transcends time, much like many other pulp heroes of the time, like The Phantom, The Shadow, and Tarzan. The series has received an Eisner Awards nomination for Best New Series in 2007, while True West Magazine awarded it the Best Western Comic Book of the Year in 2009. Issue number one of the six-issue miniseries sold out of its first printing, and because of its success, became an ongoing series. Currently, you can find the Lone Ranger stories in 2015's The Lone Ranger Vindicated, the Trade Paperbacks Volumes 1 through 8, as well as the Omnibus Volume 1. 2010's The Lone Ranger and Tonto Numbers 1 through 4, the Lone Ranger Comics, which is currently up to issue number 25, Snake of Iron, the Lone Ranger Annual. Finally, the Lone Ranger Green Hornet 5-issue miniseries, all from Dynamite Comics. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, maybe put a comment below, and hit that subscribe button. And be sure to head on over to our Facebook page, links are in the description below.